Got another video for A-level chemistry multiple choice practice. So this is the third one for organic chemistry. Remember there's a separate playlist for inorganic and physical. Hope you like the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why don't you consider doing that? It'd be much appreciated. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so we'll make a start. So all of these alkanes have the same molecular formula. They're all C7H16. So it's going to be down to branching or lack of branching to get the highest boiling point. So A is the answer because that is just the straight chain heptane. Number two, I'm ruling out C straight away because we never get this H radical. So which one's the propagation step? Well, that's an initiation step. That's a termination step. So it's going to be D. Number three, so the longest continuous chain is this one here. So how many carbons long is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a hex. So it's, we're down to C and D. Where's the double bond? It's after carbon two to get the lowest number. It's a hex hexatoene. There's only one of those in the options, so C is the answer. Question four, I've ruled out cis and trans straight away because we don't have an identical group on each carbon of the double bond, so we can't have cis trans. So we're looking for the priority groups on each carbon. So on the left-hand carbon, it's this ethyl group. Moving on to the right-hand carbon, so it's a little bit trickier, this one. So I've expanded the groups just to sort of help explain this. So if we think about this carbon here, that's that one there. So what's bonded to that? Hydrogen and two carbons. So in terms of atomic number, one, six, six. Whereas on this one, this carbon here is that one there. What have we got bonded? A six and a one and a one. So we, that one there has got the biggest atomic numbers directly attached. So that has priority, I'll just highlight that. They're on opposite sides of the double bond so that makes it the E isomer, so C is the right answer. To help explain number five, just we'll quickly run through the mechanism. So what's going to happen? A pair of electrons from the pi bond attracted to the slightly positive bromine. So the pi bond breaks, but we also have a sigma bond broken there. So we're down to C and D as our possible answers. And then the final part of the mechanism, pair of electrons on the Br minus ion attracted to the C plus of the carbocation. And we get a sigma bond form in there. So option D was the right answer. Moving on to number six. So aqueous hydroxide ions, which is what we've got in the KOH aqueous, will only react with this part here. And that will become an alcohol group. So A is the right answer. Number seven, there's the chiral centers, so the answer was B. Question eight, just remember the OH group is two, four. I've put six in brackets there because if it's tri-substitution, um, the other substitution position will be number six. So two, four, six directing. So what have we got in A? Um, two and four, two and six, two and three. So three is not one of these. So C was the answer. And there you've got your try substitution two, four, six. So C is the answer there. Question nine. So if we want to find out the monomers to make this polyester, we just cut the ester bond. This is going to become a dialcohol and this is going to become a dicarboxylic acid in this case anyway, because there are options. And you can see straight away that this diol here is that one there, so A was the answer. Question 10, we'll just run through each one, see how many environments we've got. Obviously we'll stop when we get the right answer. So in this one here, got a line of symmetry down here. So that means they're equivalent, so one, two, three, four, five. So it's not A. Moving on to B, so one environment, two, three, four. Ah, excellent. So B was the answer. Question 11, just a straightforward percentage yield calculation. I always do my percentage yield uh, calculations in moles. 
So theoretically, because of the ratio, we should be able to make that many moles of product if it was 100% yield. So the percentage yield is the actual moles of product made over the theoretical, so that over that times 100, 49.8%. But really, you didn't need to do that because you can just see just by looking at those two numbers, that is roughly half of that. And that's the only option that uh, is half. So A was the answer. Question 12, you'll notice I've ruled out A and B straight away because they are alkanes, so they only have the CC environment. They wouldn't show a peak up here. There's the skeletal formula for the remaining two. So how many environments have we got in C? We've got one, two, three. So that's obviously the answer. This one here, just for revision purposes, you've got one environment there and they are all equivalent. So this would only show two peaks. So C was the answer. Question 13, just a reminder, aldehydes are reduced to primary alcohols, ketones reduced to secondary alcohols, tertiary alcohols aren't possible. So I've just drawn out the skeletal formula for the three alcohols. So number one, 2 methyl pentol you can see that that is actually a tertiary alcohol because you've got one, two, three carbon groups bonded to the OH carbon. So that's not right. Option two, that's a primary alcohol, so that's possible. And option three is a secondary alcohol, so that's okay as well. So two and three, correct. C. Question 14, so potassium hydroxide does react with phenol. It produces that. So statement one's okay. See what I did there? Phenol can also react with acyl chloride, so it would generate that product there in this case. So that one's okay. And phenol would also react with nitric acid, and you'd get something like that. So all three were correct. So A is the answer. And finally, question 15, I've just colour-coded the functional groups that are in the molecule. So this is an ester group here. This is a secondary amide group because the nitrogen is directly bonded to the cedar bond O, so that makes it an amide. And you've got two carbons directly bonded to the nitrogen, so that's why it's secondary. We don't have a ketone group. That's not classed as a ketone because it's part of this amide group. Likewise, that's not classed as a ketone because they've got the single bonded O next to it, which makes it an ester group. So we only had one and two, so B was the answer.